Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And it is now 2024. <clears throat> it is May. And we got to have a real conversation about the state of Unify, Protect, and where it's at. So a few years ago, you know, I, I was probably pretty critical of the product. And I have to say that, um, man, has Protect come a long way. And they are challenging Synology. And when you start looking at Protect, there's a couple things that Synology does a little different where you can have multiple cameras. It's not just Unify cameras. But we're going to talk about this. We'll just do a quick overview. And then in the next Protect video, I'm actually going to show you some of the things we're talking about. But let's let's have a conversation about this. So it's it's 2024. And as of the filming of this video, which is May 6th, this is where we're at. So I'm over at ui.com slash us slash en slash camera security. And it says simply scalable security. And they've got this little video that's going through all of their different cameras. Down here it says no license fee. It's obviously built into the price of the camera. Enterprise grade scalability. You can now combine NVRs, things like that. Private storage, which means we don't have to put our footage in the cloud. We don't have to rely on a cloud provider. We can use this completely locally. We don't have to bind it to UI. We don't need um, to have that cloud connection if we don't want it. Ultra low latency, AI video analytics, and centralized remote management. It does seamlessly integrate with Unify, and I'm going to show you that in the video when we go over it. A smart AI enhanced interface. I have to tell you, they have done just a. I'm I'm actually really blown away by the work that they've done with Protect, and I'm glad that I gave it another look. And we are using it, and we are going to really start using it quite a bit. But uh, you can see down here, we've got motion detection, person detection, vehicle detection, license plate recognition, smoke alarm, C, uh, carbon monoxide alarm detection. And it does that based on standard frequencies, standard sounds. You've got motion zones, privacy zones, line crossing. There's other things too, like facial recognition, which is why I did the uh, know your laws about facial recognition video, because we are getting ready to deal with some of this AI stuff in these videos coming up. Right here it says impressive streaming responsive responsiveness. And I will tell you, I am actually blown away at how quick the video scrubbing works and how fast you can go back and forth through through uh, your video footage. And there's some other NVR products that we've been talking about, and they struggle. They are a little slower. And you don't, I mean, Ubiquity has really upped the ante with this. So let's take a little a little bit um yeah here you can see they say enterprise grade scalability so you have nvr stacking so you can stack multiple nvrs together so you don't have to have disparate systems and they do have the viewport so if you want like a, a tv that has a certain view you can get the viewport and you can see all the things that they that they have so let's take a look real quick at the cameras so we're going to do dome and turret, then we'll do bullet, we'll do the compact. Look at this interior design. Doesn't that look like the original Ubiquiti uh, logo? I thought that was kind of funny. PTZ, we've got special devices, and then we've got the NVRs. So right now, I want to talk about the, the video recorders. So right here, you see that they've got the NVR Pro the NVR, and the Cloud Key Plus. Now, obviously, each of these devices can have a different amount of cameras recommended to connect to it. But not only do you have these devices, you have the UDM, the UDM SE, the Dreamwall, the UDR, and if I'm missing one, oh, yeah, and the new uh, UDM Max, they also can run protect and a lot of these features that you're getting and i'm going to show this in the next video a lot of the features that you're getting with the ai and stuff like that a lot of people are worried that you know ubiquity is 
you know, we're sending video to their cloud and they're analyzing. And that's not the case. All of the analyzing of your video is all done locally. So not only do you have these three dedicated devices, but you have the cloud consoles that you can run the software on. And we're going to show, uh, we'll show the UDMSE that's behind me in the rack, but we'll also show the UNVR and I've got a cloud, cloud key plus. And you will see that as we swap the camera between them, th that the AI detection and things like that, it's, it's pretty seamless from device to device. So that's where we're at right now with the dedicated NVRs. We have these three, but then you have the cloud consoles that can also run it. Then, of course, we have dome and turret cameras, and everybody is excited about the Ultraline because it's new cameras. It's a, it's a different price point. And so you've got your G5 Ultras, so you've got the dome and the turret. You've got an AI360, which I haven't got my hands on yet. You have the G5 dome. And then, of course, you're going to have the other cameras that are still out there. Um, they're obviously not focusing on the G4, but you have G4 gear that is still available. Under the bullet, you've got, oh yeah, this little blue LED ring that like goes around when, when it's recording. It's kind of slick. Um, you do have the pros that have the 3X optical zoom. So when we take a look at this, we've got the G5 Bullet, the G5 Pro, the AI Pro, the AI DSLR, and there's also the AI Bullet. And I don't know if there's a way to scroll over on that. I'm not seeing the scroll on this. But the AI really comes in with the AI models. And we're going to talk about that because I do have an AI Pro that we are going to show, and that's going to be our AI camera. When we look at the compact cameras, everybody is familiar with the G5 Flex, the G4 Instant. This kind of started um, a few years ago. We're going to go over to the store and we'll take a look at everything that's available and how the ecosystem kind of fits together. Then we have, let's see here, kind of the AI Theta, which is a camera that's a little bit more modular. So, you know, you can, you can see here it's like almost flush mounted on the wall. You can do two-way audio. It's got some different lenses and things like that. So, yeah, look at all the different lenses that they've got for the Theta. You've got the long distance, the wide angle, the 360, the pro long distance, pro wide angle, and the pro 360. And then on the PTZ, they've got this big tank with a 22x optical zoom and it does now also have automatic person tracking which is a, a pretty nice feature if you've never used it so let's head on over to the store here I'm not really gonna buy uh, that PTZ let's see let's zoom out let's take a good look at what we got going on here so here are your NVRs but you've got the G5 bullet the G5 dome G5 flex one thing we didn't see there was the doorbell. I may, uh, that might be under the special devices here. Let's see. Yep, so the doorbell is under the special devices. You've got the chime that goes with it. But then you've got the sensor, which I'm actually uh, going to buy some of these because they, if you buy them in the three pack, they come with a thing that you can snap them into and to do water detection. Now, one of the caveats is you do have to have Unify access points with these sensors. Then we've got the power over Ethernet illumination, so they've got the LEDs that can do a little bit more uh, lighting up of the area that you're recording. So they have a ton of cameras that work for a lot of use cases. The one thing I, I do wish that we had was a nighttime camera that is capable of doing license plates in the dark because if you've ever captured license plates in the dark you usually have to have cameras that are tuned specifically for this because of the glare that you get off of license plates but if you go out here to the store you can see like the g3 flex is still available the g3 
instant the g4 series is still available and then of course you're getting into the ai pro the ai bullet here's your protect all-in-one sensor the viewport and then we're starting you know here's our g5 turret ultra g5 dome ultra and then here's your g4 instant so i do have some of these cameras the one that i'm really going to concentrate on is the ai i think that's where we're really heading in the future let's take a look at the, some of the add-ons so they do have the ubiquity hard drives of course we have a cloud key rack mount which i'll i'll show you i've got one of those different mounts for the cameras so overall i will tell you that i am actually i'm actually excited again about ubiquity cameras and and i'm not just saying that because i have you know i'm not even going to leave an affiliate link for this but i am uh in using it over the last few months really excited about the product line again and we'll do some head-to-head -head comparisons with a couple of other nvrs and the unify stuff and you can make the judgment call for yourself so I know there's going to be people that are automatically going to complain about the video, about the price of the cameras, about the price of the NVR. Yes, we can buy cheaper cameras with other NVR systems, but then you have to tack on another license. It's a different way. It's just a different way that Ubiquity is kind of baking those, those license fees in, right? If you kind of think about it like that, it's, it's the cost of, of doing business. And I'm, I'm at, if they stay on this trajectory, and I'd heard some things too about the, the conference, about there may be some changes to the platform coming. I can't speak on that, so don't ask me about that. I don't know, and even if I did, I'd probably be under NDA, and I wouldn't be able to answer you anyway. But go ahead. Let me know down in the comment what you think about Unify Protect, and I think Ubiquity might read these. I don't know. I can't say that they do. So if you've got problems or questions or whatever, put those down in the comments as well. Maybe they'll... Maybe they'll um, you know, take a look at what you got to say. But I, for one, am excited about the product line again. And we are going to be using it more and more. So the next video you see on this, we're going to delve into the AI. We're going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you that there's no difference in the AI based on the NVR that you have. So I think there's some misconception out there about that. I think there's some misconception about how we're processing video. It is all done locally between the camera and the NVR. The only time it's sent to the cloud is if you joined it to the cloud and you're accessing the console. It's that stream, right, that's coming off of your gear through their proxy system that they've got where you can access it without doing, you know, port forwarding and, and things like that. So it's not stored in the cloud. It's still stored on your devices and you're accessing it using Ubiquity as a proxy. So let me know down in the comments uh, what you think. I am, I'm super excited. I don't know that that video will be out this week, but it is coming very, very soon because I have the camera, I have the NVR. We're ready to rock and roll deploying these things like they're going out of style. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below and that's where your comments should go as well. If you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, join our community at community.willyhow.com. Uh, there's going to be content that's going to be exclusive there. It, it's going to be free, but there'll be stuff there that you're not going to see on YouTube. You won't see it on TikTok. You won't see it on Twitter slash X, whatever we're calling that platform these days. Uh, so make sure you come on over to the community. we got a great bunch of people over there that are answering questions. Come on over and everybody's got something to contribute. So also, if you'd like to support the channel, there are affiliate links and a Patreon link down below. Once again, I'm Willie. I am actually really excited about Protect Again, and we'll be dropping some of these videos out here as soon as possible. I'm Willie, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.